Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. On the last episode, we found the windmill that we needed for Skyloft. Now, this, now we're going to bring it back to where it needs to go and get that other tower facing the right direction. Um, I you know I said before I was going to go grind for Hornet Larvae. I didn't because I want to actually show that to you guys on screen. Um, I did get myself an ornamental skull, though, however, when I was fighting those Moplins, so that's good. Um, and you'll see here, it automatically brings us right back to the place where we need to use the windmill. So that's kind of handy. And there's Scrapper bring it down. So. Perfect. Zerbush Clang. Zerbush Clang. That sounds like a crazy Japanese name or something. Or foreign name. Alright, alright. Elvis, are you gonna fix this shit for me or what? Let's go. Yeah, it's the propeller. Fix it. Yes, it was true. What does it look like, buddy? Yes, fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Come on, how hard is it really fix? Oh, you just had to hammer three times? Alright. Yep, we got just the thing. Uh-oh, the wife's calling. Fix the cupboard. Come on, buddy. Get out of here. Go. Hurry. I'm just very impatient right now with this. I just want to get going on this. Alright, so we get out the gust bellows. This one, you actually gotta spin for quite some time, so. Don't make the mistake I did like last time of letting it go too far. Just kind of do your thing with it, let it go. Come on, come on. Uh, we're not actually gonna continue right on with the story right away. Like I said, we're gonna get a few of the side quest things done. Should be good. Yay. Um, I just let go of the button just a little bit before it even looks like it's straight. Cause then it usually will let, let it go right there. Um, but that's our next destination right there on top of the light tower. But like I said, we're not going to go there quite yet. So Let's get out of here. Um, let's see, there was a few things that I can do now. Um, I... Um, if you remember before, too, I uh, showed you, or I, uh, that guy told us about that thing, or that person in the bathroom at night. So let's go check that out. That sounds kind of interesting. Somebody in the bathroom doing things at night. Eh, 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 eh. Sounds interesting to me. Let's go see what that's all about. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up and, uh, go up and make it night over here at the old night academy. And I want to go on the bottom floor. That's where my room is. Where am I going? There we go. Okay. Oh, there's somebody else that we can talk to. What do you got to say, old woman? No, oh, the same thing. So yeah, she also will tell you about the restroom. So it sounds like it's starting to really bother a lot of people. What do you got to say? Oh yeah, I know where Groose went. Run away because of his broken heart. What a tough guy. Yeah, you're kidding, right? Fledge. I think our room is... I'm by the stairs, isn't it? Yep. So you know what I'm gonna do in here first. I'm gonna grab the five roops. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five roops. Yeah, you just drop that shit in your wallet, Link. Alright. So now let's sleep until night. There's actually going to be two different ways that you can go about doing this side quest, but um, I, I can only remember one, and I don't you don't get the gratitude crystals right away from it, so I think I'm going to try to do the other one. Um, oh, I'll explain it to you in a second. Anyway, so now that it's night, let's go over here to the bathroom, and you get a cutscene. Somebody, please help me. Okay, well, let me, uh, let me help you out here. Paper. Wow, this is a flashback to Majora's Mask, if I've ever seen one. If you play Majora's Mask, you actually get a heart piece for doing this beforehand. Um, but not, not quite in this one. So, alright, now, we've seen what's going on at night. We can't really do anything about it, because the door's locked, so... Might as well go back to sleep. Till morning. Alright, 
now what can we do? Well, that's one thing out of the way. Uh, we didn't really get very far on figuring out what was going on in the bathroom there, but... Anyway, now let's come over this way. Oh, well, you got something for us now, it looks like. Should I give it to her? Should I not give it to her? Oh, Link, it's you. Don't sneak up on me like that. I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now, and you're distracting me. Yeah, can I help? Huh? Really? Uh, normally I would never ask someone like you for help, but these are, di are dire times. So basically what he's doing here is he's got a love letter that he wants you to give you to a girl. Um, that's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of funny. Can't say he's like really the ladies man. Um, and her, I can't remember what the girl's name is. It's, it says it. I think it actually, does it show you? No. <laughs> Here's a piece of paper. Link looks at the bathroom. Hmm. Why would you tell him that? Maybe you just really had to pee or something. <laughs> you fool, how dare you? This is no ordinary piece of paper. It's a letter, a very special one at that. I put my heart into every word. I guess you could say it's sort of like a... Alright, fine, it's a love letter. And that is why you will no not, under any circumstance, ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. <laughs> oh, well... Sure. Karan is the girl's name that he needs to bring it to. She's the one with the round hat, and she's cute. Uh, that really narrows it down, buddy. So, <laughs> like it shows, um, you can you can honestly you can give it to the person in the restroom if you want, and it's kind of creepy. Or you can actually deliver deliver the letter to Karan. Um, I want to say both ways. You don't actually get the gratitude crystals right away. Um, I think I'm gonna give it to Karan. I don't remember where she is though. Oh, uh, where is she? Oh yeah, I think she's over here. I think it's this, yeah, it's this broad right here. Oh, Pippet. And you can see here that she actually likes Pippet. It kind of reminds me a lot of high school. It's like, this guy likes a girl, but the girl likes the other guy, and... Ugh, I don't know. Too much love for me going on here. Uh, sorry, it's not from Pippet, but... Well, you just go ahead and read that and tell me what you say. <laughs> Look on her face, she's like, oh my god. <laughs> really terrible handwriting. Greetings, my love for you is wider than the horizon, deeper than the clouds. I would very much like it if you would go out with me. You're a brave knight, Colin. Uh-huh. Cruz's flunkies. Yeah, 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 that's him. Huh. Yeah, yeah, he did. Ah, you can try. <laughs> as if. Who says that anymore? Seriously. Who says as if? That is like such a early 90s term. That's kind of funny. Okay, well, you didn't give me anything. Doing good deeds here. I'm not getting nothing. What's going on here? This isn't like a Zelda game. Alright, dude, the deed is done. Yep, I gave it to her. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know, dude. Why don't you... That's it? <sighs> go talk to her. I don't... Okay, well, do I have to go back and talk to her? Oh, yes. I think in order to get the gratitude crystals, you actually do have to talk to Pippet now, too. Okay, I don't know if we can actually do it right away. But anyway, let's uh... Let's continue on with what we've got to do here. Isn't Pippet just right out here though? Can we talk to him now? Pippet? 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 Okay, maybe Pippet's not here. Every time I think of Pippet, I think of Scotty Pippen. In the Chicago Bulls, back in basketball's heyday. I don't know, it's just me. All right, so there's actually a few other things we can do. Oh, I really want to find Pippet. I don't know where the hell he is. I thought he was over here. Maybe not. It's Fledge. Nobody likes Fledge. Maybe he's at his house. I don't know. I can't really remember. Um. 
So anyway, what I think we're gonna... Oh no, don't jump in the water. Damn it. I think what we're gonna do is actually go... There's a few other things we can do. Um, they're over at the lumpy pumpkin. So I think we're gonna fly over to the pumpkin. We will save the light, to the light tower for after these side quest things. These next few side quest things are, we actually have to do are a couple of mini games. Um, let's see, I just want to make sure I mark the the old pumpkin. It's right over there. Um, we're actually going to have to play a couple of mini games, and one of them we actually have to make it night and be at the pumpkin. And you know the problem is there is that we can't actually fly out in the sky when it's nighttime. Well, if you noticed at our first trip to the pumpkin, there's actually beds you can sleep in at the pumpkin. So it's one of the few places that you can actually make night and then switch it to night while you're there. So don't do it right away, but we uh, we are going to have to do it here. Well, let's see what if he's got another task for us now. Ah, and you can see my batteries, my rear motor already going die are already going dead. All right, so your next job is to help pick the pumpkins. All right, dude, whatever. Pumpkins are cool, I guess. Um, so yeah, we have to help her carry. Okay. So, all right, well, we're not gonna do it at night. I don't care if I. I don't care. I know my rear remote batteries suck. Soon, as soon as I get that thing in the mail, it'll be alright. Hopefully. So we have to find her. We have to go here and we have to deliver, um, help her with these pumpkins. Hi. So this is actually a mini game. And I want to say we have to carry like five or six pumpkins at a time. And uh, have five at once. Okay. And you only have to do this once. Um, and there's... It, it's kind of hard, actually. Um, you can't just walk forward or they'll tip over. You kind of have to move left and right and lean and make sure that the pumpkins don't fall. Because if they fall, then you have to start over. And you kind of have to walk slow. So basically, I mean, th the point of this is if your pumpkins start leaning to the right, go to the right. If they start leaning to the left, go to the left. Um, it's kind of tricky. It might take you a few tries. Um, let's see. What I always do is I just make sure I watch the top pumpkins. You can see there now they're going to the right. Oh, and I failed. Ugh. This is a pain. Every mini game in this game is just a pain. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This sucks. Okay. We'll get it this time. Hopefully. Um, it takes me a few tries just to kind of get back in the groove of things here, but... Um, yeah, just walk slowly. Actually, I should say, when your pumpkins start... What? Uh, okay, well, I'm going to not sit here and make you watch me fail a hundred times. I will just cut until I do it, and then you guys can watch the, the good run out of it. Alright, so I'll see you when I finally get it. Oh my god, I finally did it. Holy cow. Ugh, that was such a pain. That took way, <laughs> way, way longer than it should have. Okay, so now that that's done. Oh my god, you just, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. Here, there's another place you can play your harp up here. Ugh, god, that's, uh, like, usually that isn't that hard for me, and it, it probably took me literally ten times to do it. Ugh, ooh, a monster claw. Nice, we need to do one of those. Ugh. And like I just thinking about it now, and that's like only one of the two ridiculous mini games that we're gonna have to do right now. Um, and we don't even get anything for doing that one, which is like the worst. But okay. Ugh. Like, I don't even want to do this anymore. 
Um, anyway, you come back in here, you talk to this guy again. Oh yeah, you've got that interesting looking instrument there. I've got a perfect job for you, but that job can only be done at night. Wait until nightfall and come back and see me. Okay. Well then. Just come over here. Sleep till night. Now there's actually... I want to say there's some... Some, uh... Well, I shouldn't say I know there are. Um, there's some star bits here, too. I just can't remember where they are. Oh. Shut up about the controller thing. I know, I know. Um, okay. So now what you have to do... Oh, go back here and talk to him. Ah, oh, you came. Let me see. What was it I wanted you to do next? Hey, what's that? That's that strange looking instrument you have there. Oh, yes. You might just be surprised here that Kina is actually quite the singer. So what you have to do is you actually have to play... Play your harp... Um, with her while she's singing and you have to move your Wii remote in sync with the um, hands of the people actually watching in the crowd. Now, it doesn't sound that hard but for some reason it's extremely difficult and like I said you're gonna want to have make sure you can hear for this so you're gonna want to be able to feel the rhythm. So um, again I will uh, uh, just basically do this um, I'll show you once uh, I might show you once um, I will probably fail at it and then I will just cut to when I when I beat it so okay uh, and then once we're done with this that's two of the annoying mini games out of the way so so just watch the hands and I already kind of screwed up but I don't, I can't really hear the music either, so. Oh, it's hard to talk and try to do this. That's why you're up. <laughs> trying to do this too. Um, I'm actually trying to stand up and do this too, so. I probably already failed. Um, it, it helps too if you can memorize the song. Here. Just kind of keep the the rhythm. Um, it says you can freestyle, but I really wouldn't. I would be very very surprised if I actually beat this, but. All right, let's see what she says. Ah, uh, they hated it. Fuck! All right. Well, I'll just cut to uh, when I beat it, and I'll show you her reaction. So we'll see you then.